All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 30 minus one. So to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the power of 15 times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 15 times two is the same thing as two to the power of 15 to the power of two. And negative one is the same thing as negative one squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 15 and b is one. So now I have two to the power of 15 plus one times two to the power of 15 minus one. Now, two to the power of 15, well, what's the value of that? Well, two to the power of 10, this is 1,024. So two to the power of 11 is double of two to the power of 10, which is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now two to the power of 12 is double of 2,048, which is 4,096. Two to the power of 13 is double of 4,096, which is 8,192. Two to the power of 14 is double of that, which is 16,384. And finally, two to the power of 15, this is double of this, which is 32,768. So I have 32,768 plus one, times 32,768 minus one. And now this is equal to 32,769 times 32,767. Now, a simple way to solve this, instead of having to actually multiply them the regular way, is to rewrite this as 32,000 plus 769 times 32,000 plus 767. Now I'm gonna distribute. So I get 32,000 times 32,000, which is equal to 1024000000. This is 1 billion, 24 million. And now I have this plus 32,000 times 767 plus 769. And finally, I have at the end 767 times 769 which is equal to 589,823. So let me add all of this up. You can, you can actually do this on paper if you want, but just to make this easier, I'm gonna use a calculator to add all this up. So if I add all of this up, I get 1,073,741,823. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have nine to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have three to the power of 21. So to first start out, 
Let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30 and how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have nine plus nine plus nine to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten nine to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10 and this was gone from adding the bases, but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination, the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So we first start with nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one, which is equal to nine to the power of 10 times three. And now this is equal to three squared to the power of 10 times three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of 10 is gonna equal three to the power of 20. And I have this times three to the power of one. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to three to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family members.